She's like the cutest girl ever. Like, look how cute she is. So today is her four month update. Yeah, she's like four and a half months, but better late than never, right? I don't know her weight or her height because she has not had her four month checkup in the midst of the move. It just has not happened, guys. My guess is she's about 16 to 17 pounds, which is probably an accurate guess or it's a little bit over that. She is transitioning out of three to six month clothes, which you know what that means, landing crew. You're about to get a fashion show. No, okay. Once she can sit up unassisted, I am upgrading her little like car seat thing to a convertible car seat because lugging that girl around is really a lot of work. But other than that, she's doing really, really good. Her head is not that flat anymore because she can roll from her back to her belly. It's definitely improving. If you kind of prop her up a little bit, like she'll pull up her head. So she's already trying to use those muscles to sit up. Uh, she's found her feet, which is like the cutest thing ever. She never finds it when I have the camera out. I'm like, once I have the camera, she's like, I don't know about my feet. It's probably not that big of a deal, but I think it's really adorable. She's in size three diapers now because she got a big old booty. Big old booty. She eats between like six to seven ounces. She's like, I'm, I'm gonna go places. I'm gonna go them. Her hair is growing so fast. I don't think she's gonna have red hair like Liam. If she does, it's gonna be like a tent and she'll probably outgrow it, honestly. But it's okay, she's gonna be adorable. She's gonna have those cute little pigtails and I am ready for them. <sighs> There's not a lot to update about four months old. She smiles all the time, she giggles so much. Like if you tickle her, she giggles. She loves Lex, she loves everyone. She loves people, she loves being talked to. She is just the type of baby, like the only time she cries and fusses is if someone's not near her or she's hungry. Like. That is it. I think it's because we spoiled her so much, but it's okay. We all have our crosses to bear. She still has her reflux, but we're doing different things to help with that. And we're hoping that as she gets older, she'll outgrow it kind of thing. But that's about it. I don't go into a lot of detail because you guys always ask like fantastic questions. So I'm going to get to the Q and A. Okay, so we're gonna go to the three month update first. And the first question is, is Noah staying in homeschool or public? Our plan is to do homeschool through the this summer, through the next school year, and through next summer as well, to try to get him as close to grade level as possible. So then we can kind of see if putting him back in public school is something we can do. It is something Noah is very interested in. He's always wanted to like do public school, like high school experience. So we want to give him the chance to do that. It doesn't mean it will work and it will all go smooth, but it's something I'm willing to try to, I don't know, to make Noah happy. Uh, this is a question from Holly. How do you feel about Daniel dating? Daniel Danielle is about to be 15 and our rule in the house is that once you're 14 you can have a boyfriend or girlfriend but you cannot go on like independent dates with them until they're 16. Faith asks, are you concerned that Liam really doesn't react to Penelope? I don't know that concern is the right word. I definitely think it's a little strange but it might just be who Liam is. Steven and Renee's life asks, how did you get Penelope to do or enjoy tummy time? I don't think any baby enjoys tummy time. So the best thing you can do is just push through the screaming for a couple minutes. They're not gonna like it at first, but the more they do it, the better they'll get at it. So they'll tolerate for longer. Liam, because he was behind developmentally, he hated tummy time for so, so, so long. And so what I would do is I would just lay him on me. So it gives him a little bit of comfort while they're doing their tummy time as well. So anything to help build those muscles. Don't feel like you're you're doing anything wrong or there's something wrong with your kid if they don't like tummy time. I've had six kids and I've yet to find a kid that loves tummy time. Do you think you will homeschool the younger three? And the only way I would homeschool the younger three kids is if the public school couldn't give them either the education or the behavioral issues got out of control. I wish I would have tried homeschooling Noah a lot earlier in the game. I thought you were moving to Boston. A lot of people did. You are not alone. There's a video that explains it where I think the title is moving for better autism services. I will put it in the link below. That will kind of catch you up to speed. Will you buy a house? We are renting right now, but we will be buying in two years. Brianna asks, where do you shop for clothes for little Miss Penelope? For Penelope and our younger kids, we shop at Once Upon a Child, which is a consignment store. We absolutely love it. Zulily is another spot. Katie asks, are you guys planning on getting a second vehicle? I think we might eventually later on, but for right now, there really isn't a need for it, especially since Lonnie is still at home with us and helping with YouTube. So if that were to change and he were to go back to work, then
then yes, we probably would look into getting a second vehicle later on. Amber asks, do the older kids help out with the younger ones? Yes, they do. They are very, very helpful. It is kind of a balance of having them help but not have them help too much. But I think it's like anything with parenthood. You just have to kind of learn as you go and balance it the best you can. Has her reflux gone better and has she been diagnosed with a milk allergy like Liam and Noah? Yeah, she definitely has a milk allergy and her reflux is a little bit better, but about the same. I think we're just so used to dealing with it now. Stacy said, does she cry? Uh, not a lot. <laughs> no, she's a really good baby, but she's also fussy at times too. She's definitely fussier than Liam was. As I said at the beginning of the video, she loves people. She loves being by people. So she will start getting fussy if she's not near you, if you're not holding her. She definitely lets her presence be known. Is she teething? Not that I know, but my kids usually start teething around four to five months, so she's definitely due to start teething soon. Carol asks, I have the most important question. How are you? So I am doing okay. My blood pressure is fine. I've checked it periodically and my blood pressure is back to normal completely. Haven't been on meds. My shortness of breath is getting better. My heart issue is getting better. So overall, I think it's just the postpartum preeclampsia. It's just taking a while to recover from it, but I am feeling better and I think at this point things are kind of on the up and up. We are trying to eat healthier, cut out soda. I've said this so many times on videos, like it's ridiculous, but I'm hoping that we can actually stick to it. So I'm trying to just be healthier, not try to cut everything out at once, but to just kind of make my portions more portion sized and not have so many sodas, have more waters and that kind of thing. Reflux, tell me all the tips and tricks. Uh, so the best tips and tricks for reflux is don't let them lay on their back because that's when it like all comes up. So have them propped up if possible. If like we don't have the option for her to be propped up, if we put her on her side sometimes, that helps a lot. So so just try to keep her upright as much as possible. They say while eating and then like 30 minutes after they've ate. If that still doesn't work, there's no harm in asking the pediatrician for like Zantac or something like that. Are you planning to have any more kids? No, we are not. Lonnie has a vasectomy. Does Penelope act like any of her siblings did as a baby? If Penelope acts like anyone as a baby, it would probably be Danielle and Lex. She has Danielle's personality, but she also has Lex's strong muscle tone. Who will Penelope share a room with when she's out of your room? So we plan to room share with Penelope until we buy a house in two years. By that time, she'll be two and two and a half. We will be getting her her own room. Can she sit up unassisted? No, but she can sit up propped up and she is already trying to do like the tripod where she like supports herself. I mean, she has some crazy good muscle tone guys. How did you teach your toddlers to be gentle with her? So how we've always taught our kids to be gentle is by showing them gentle, soft baby, soft baby. And just if they're a little bit too rough, you take their hand and you're like, soft baby. Lex has never been rough with her, which I'm really surprised because sometimes he tries to be too rough with Liam. Her sleeping is fantastic. She will wake up like 7 a.m., but that's it. That's all I got. How are you and Lonnie doing adjusting to the new house with the baby, two toddlers, and three other kids? Um, Some days are hard, but Lonnie and I were talking about it, how like every day we feel like we get a little bit better at it. We're getting a little bit better because not only do we have a new baby, we're in a new house, but Lonnie's home now. So we're trying to find a routine. Uh, does YouTube Red take away less payouts for YouTubers? Okay, so this is a couple questions. First, YouTube Red, I think we do make less by doing it, but don't worry about it. If you have YouTube Red, I'm not upset with you. But how did you and Ashley meet? So Ashley and I have been best friends for 14 years now, a really long time since she's been pregnant with Riley, her almost 14 year old. We met on an online group. I had a teen parenting group because even back then I just liked, I don't know, meeting people, showing support, bringing people together. I was living in Texas at the time because that's where Lonnie was in the Air Force. Yeah, we just stayed in contact. And then when we ended up moving to Florida, uh, she watched Noah for me when he was like 10 months old. I don't know, we just stayed in contact and slowly throughout the years, we just became closer and closer to a point where we would literally talk every single day and then she helped me move down to the Clearwater area. If you want more on that story on how she helped me and stuff it is like how I became an autism mom. Um, at the time Ashley and I weren't talking though so if you're confused that's kind of what happened. Through 14 years we have changed, we've grown up, we've matured, um, we're not the same people we were 14 years ago, thank goodness. I feel a friendship is like anything else. Both parties have to want to work on it and Ashley and I have always both just loved each other and wanted to stay friends with each other. So we've just worked through all of that stuff. We do plan on doing like a friendship story in the future, but both of us are really busy and I don't want to just throw something together for you guys. Uh, when will you start solid foods with her? Uh, Lonnie and I are very relaxed on the solid food thing.
thing. Like we're not the type that when they're six months old, we'd like feel like they have to eat it. I feel like every baby shows different signs at different times. A lot of our kids aren't ready till seven or eight months. Uh, Lexton start eating baby food to 10 to 11 months. Have you or will you get Nellie genetically tested? Uh, we will get Nellie genetically tested when she is four. Also, where will Nellie be once she has outgrown her crib? So as I said, she'll have her own room in the future. Once we get a house and get her her own room, she'll have an actual bed, but she'll stay in this until she's two, two and a half. But no, she will not be sharing a room with Danielle because in two years, Danielle will be almost 17. I just don't know how a 17 year old sharing with their two year old sister would go very well. <laughs> Heather asked, do you think she will have autism as well? I have no idea. I always get this question and I always answer the question the same way. I do not know. There's no way I can gauge. Am I seeing any red flags? None whatsoever. She's already making sounds with her mouth. She seems to be on point. She isn't randomly smiling. She only smiles when she gets eye contact and then she smiles. This question was in here too. Like, does she remind me of the other two at all? And no, Lex was not a happy baby. Like he wasn't cranky. He didn't cry a lot. He just wasn't smiling. A uh, Liam would smile at everything like we would walk in and he's like smiling at the wall or the light or the back of the crib or anything he just smiles at everything she's not like that like she smiles appropriately I feel like developmentally she's good socially she's good will that change as she gets older I don't know but for right now there's nothing that we are concerned about oh this is a good question while the older kids are in school come September what are you gonna do with all the free time you would normally be spending homeschooling I will just be spending time with the little kids and I'll be able to work while they're in school so when they're home, we can have more quality time instead of me trying to squeeze everything in. Sonia asked, are girls harder to care for than boys? What do you think is key to know when raising girls? I think understanding that girls and boys are way different. Hormones are different. What they want to play with, what they do as they get older is different. I think boys are harder when they're younger, but easier when they get older. Danielle is a teen and Lonnie Jr. is teen. So different. <laughs> was Penelope the first choice of her name or what other names did you have for her? It was Aliana, Joanna, Abigail, or Penelope. Was Penelope a mistake at first? <laughs> I don't want to say she, she was a mistake, but she was a surprise. She wasn't expected. She wasn't planned. But you know what? Life hands you lemons. So you make some lemonade. Is her own little personality coming out yet? Oh, definitely. She is like the sweetest girl, but she has like this diva personality that if you don't do things on her clock, she's not about that life. Lauren asks, what's the best part of watching Penelope grow up so far? I don't know. I think seeing her like develop into this like baby, she's just getting older. And so she's kind of becoming her little own baby and personality. And I love it. Thank you so much for watching her four month update. If you're wanting me to answer any more questions, then definitely leave them below for her five month update so I can answer those. But you know what? It's Father's Day and I'm taking my husband out to Texas Roadhouse. So we will see you guys later. Where you move, make me blind. You will always be there. There's no doubt in my mind. You will always be there. Heading out to see ya and leave the rest behind.